everybody. So yesterday's video on the Midi Baby 3 has already generated some great questions about how easy it is to program. So I'm gonna do my best to give you kind of a, a quick walkthrough here. Uh, but as you can see, I've got Midi Baby 3 connected to my MacBook via USB, which is great. And then I pulled up the editor tool here. Now, I don't have any fancy screen capture technology, so I hope this works uh, in a pinch, but uh, the website you wanna go to is studiocode.dev, and there's an option there for the MIDI Baby Editor. And this works for the MIDI Baby 3, uh, as well as the standard MIDI Baby, which is great. It'll uh, Once you plug it in, it will kind of determine which version of, uh, of the editor to pull up. Um, but yeah, so besides the fact that we can edit it online, which I think is very cool, uh, we're also able to import and export files, which I think is really fantastic, especially for a community like this one. Um, so yeah, so if you are interested in controlling your HX stomp using this version of, of what I'm doing with, with Baby 3, um, I'm able to send you uh, these files. Uh, and interestingly as well, I was messaging with Matthew yesterday from Disaster Area, and I'm gonna do the same for him. I'm gonna send this to him so that he can post it up on his resource page. So uh, I'm gonna send this one and maybe I'll try to do a couple of others um, with some different uh, tools. But yeah, so again, I think that being able to kind of share this information back and forth is, is really valuable. Uh, but all right, so let's get into it. Uh, MIDI Baby has two multi jacks that you can use to connect other MIDI enabled pedals or other MIDI controllers. Uh, one of them also has uh, MIDI through, which is great. So you can select what you want here. Um, of course, there are tons of different options, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on that. Um, but what I wanna do, I guess, first is I hit read device, and this is gonna show actually what I'm doing with MIDI Baby. So uh, as you can see, it's reading here. And once it comes up here, I will be able to see all of my controls. But uh, I have it set to MIDI channel one. That's what my HX stomp is set to. I'm not really using any MIDI through, even though all are enabled. Uh, I am using it to send MIDI clock though on the center LED, and here's why. Uh, I learned pretty quickly that although there are a couple of different ways to send tap tempo, if you wanna have this LED illuminate along with your taps, uh, you need to have it uh, sending MIDI clock. So. Um, so yeah, so one cool thing here, you know, you can use this via MIDI to control HX stop, but if you have another delay on your board or something different and you want to send that um, tap tempo as well, you can connect it via MIDI jack, so, or a multi jack. So that's kind of the value of that. But um, you can also use the, the USB port uh, for MIDI if you want to. Like I know there's some like zoom pedals you can do that with. Um, so there's that. Also, you can control the LED brightness so it's on five right now. And I'll show you how easy it is to edit. So I'll just drag that down to zero. And I'm gonna hit save, but I'll show it to you in real time here. So we'll hit save. And that's what the edit process looks like. So I'll pull it back up and hit save. And there we go. So that's pretty nice. Um, you're also able to set the LED off state. And if you watch my video from yesterday, you'll know that I'm using the uh, left and right buttons on baby three here to uh, act as like foot switch four and five. But of course you wanna know those are active. So as I hold that down, it's gonna change the LED. And then it's really bright. So I'll bring that back down here. Um, but yeah, so if you wanna know that's on, all you have to do is um, set the uh, LED off state to follow, you know, whatever you're looking for. So I have it switch, set to the uh, follow the left foot switch hold. So there's that. Uh, but let's get into the actual controls here. I'll show you that. I have most things programmed on the center foot switch. And it is important to know that each switch has three different controls. You have your tap, which is just the tap, right? You have your hold, and you saw that green LED blink. And then you have the long hold, which is that second blink. Now, the way that MIDI works, it will fire the hold before the long hold. And I'll get more into that in a second, um, but that's just how it works. So that's why you see both LEDs illuminate there. Uh, but on the center foot switch here, uh, I went to edit action and I have it set to set tempo. Now there are a variety of things that you can do uh, between toggles and program changes and batch counters and things, um, but it's easy as set tempo if you wanna send MIDI clock. So there's that. Uh, on the middle switch for the hold, which I've set to 500 milliseconds, uh, I'm sending the messages in a batch with one message per action because this is toggling on HX stomp back and forth between stomp mode and snapshot mode. So 500 milliseconds, there's one. 500 milliseconds, there's the other. Um, now, on the long hold, I have it set to a second and a half because um, I want to use that to activate the tuner which is what that's doing. But as you'll notice here, I'm also sending that uh, CC71 again, because again, uh, when I talked about how it fires the hold and the long hold, uh, it's gonna fire, it's gonna change uh, you know, my, my mode 
uh, as you go to the tuner. So I just have it kind of reverting always back to the um, stomp mode, um, which you know is a is a as a minor inconvenience, but uh, something I think I can certainly work around. But let's say we wanted to change the long hold action. Maybe a second and a half is too long. You want to change that um, just to a second. We'll just kind of drag that back here. Oops. There we go, and then we'll hit save, and again, it will edit. And there we go, so now we're completely updated. Um, so there's that. Uh, let's go to the left foot switch. So on the left foot switch, I have a program change because that's gonna uh, send the, uh, the pedal down, I guess, in presets. So again, all I had to do was go to the owner's manual, kind of understand uh, what the different uh, MIDI codes were for all these things. Uh, but all you have to do is go in and hit program change and to go down you're going to start at the top and go to the bottom and then on the right switch foot switch you're going to do the opposite so you're starting at the bottom going to the top like you're a drake song i guess and so there's that um uh, pretty pretty straightforward um let's see then on the hold function which i have set to 500 milliseconds um this is going to be our foot switch four and five like i showed you uh, earlier so i'm going to hold that down and it's going to Go to our other state, which is great. So again, this is just as easy as understanding, you know, what the uh, different MIDI codes are and kind of programming them in. There are a few, you know, little wrinkles here and there, uh, but it is pretty straightforward. And again, if you don't want to do this, you can just get the files from me or get the files you want from somebody else. So um, that's kind of a quick look at the Studio Code Dev MIDI Baby Editor and how you can use it to uh, program the MIDI Baby Three. Of course, if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I'm happy to help wherever I can. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.